Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. Let's talk a little celebrity mojo, Let's what do, do you it. say? Okay, it's a case of life imitating art. Actor Lane Garrison, best known for his role in the TV drama Prison Break, mm -hmm. right? Well, he found himself in a real prison when life took a tragic turn for him. Now, after years behind bars, the actor is out and openly talking about the dangers of drinking and driving. Look at this. I foolishly chose to uh, drink and drive one night at a party that was two blocks from my house. And uh, I got behind the wheel. 19 minutes later, I got in an accident one block from my house, and a young man was killed. And I found myself going from prison break, the show, to prison for two years. And uh, I basically was living the character that I was playing on TV. And I went to eight prisons, and, you know, not a day has gone by that I've not thought about that young man and not thought about all that I've been through and and that's why I'm so blessed to be sitting on this couch and getting a second chance and you know spreading the message about not drinking and driving I'm really hoping that people can understand the dangers of it and it's not surprising to me how popular this is and it's being passed around because you hardly ever see celebrities taking that accountability yeah. and really openly talking about something like this. And I'm hoping people can learn from it. You know? I mean, I hope so. I don't know how many times you can hear the message of don't drink and drive. And I just think yeah. more people need it to sink in because you have that, oh, it's not going to happen to me. Oh, I only have a couple drinks and I drive. Right. Anytime, it's wrong. And I wish he would even say that, you know, go a step further and just yeah. commit to never doing it again because you can't bring back and the people that are gone. And this was a crazy story. It was a high school party he was at and the kid who died was only 17 you know so it really pulled at the heartstrings of a lot of people and Jada I'm curious is this kind of therapeutic for him you think to be talking about this or is he just reliving the same moment over and over again it's absolutely therapeutic Michelle and a lot of the advocacy that comes from these tragedies is very important because what this gives him is the opportunity to number one say I'm sorry and number two to help others 1.2 million people are arrested annually and those are only the people who've gotten caught. Right. So a lot of people need to hear this message, Michelle. Well, kudos to him then for speaking out.